Ew. It was like hard candy. Don't do that. That was disgusting. I literally just ate one. It was like cartilage in my chicken. I know, that's why I hate eating thickened. What's up, you guys? What's good, guys? Welcome back. Long time, no see. Well, I guess it, to us, I feel like it feels a lot longer than mm. to people who watch us. Because, I mean, we technically did post a video last week, but we've only uploaded twice in the past two weeks. And you guys know that's not really a lot for us. You know, yeah. we like to upload at least a few times a week, like two, three. Back in the day, it was even like sometimes four times a week. Mm -hmm. And we just have not been uploading. And for me, especially, I haven't even been posting on Instagram. At least you've been on yeah. your Instagram. And the thing about this hiatus that's a little bit different for us because... Not to say that we do it on purpose, but there has been times where we've taken like small breaks from YouTube. This time we weren't filming at all. So pretty much during this purpose. whole time, yeah, yeah we, we haven't even really been filming or like even working on content. And again, like she just said, it hasn't even been on purpose. That was definitely, it wasn't like we sat down and we're like, we're gonna take the next few weeks off. Mm -hmm. And you know, relax. I'm sorry guys, I hate when we film like this because I cannot see myself at all. Like from here, I'm like, am I even in the frame? Am I in the frame? This was definitely not a planned break at all. And we, it's just so hard because even though we haven't really been doing much in our life in terms of work, we've been doing so well in other aspects of our life. Yeah. And this is something, honestly guys, I know we talk about insecurities and it's always like a physical insecurity when people think of the word insecurities but for me that's actually one of my biggest insecurities in my life is that I lack so much I don't want to say the word discipline I lack consistency it's discipline yeah okay I lack consistency and I feel like whenever I'm on a good roll in my life I know I'm gonna fall off another thing that I'm very insecure about in my life and that I lack is balance it's like if I'm doing really well in work, other aspects of my life are not getting any attention. Like it's yeah. so hard for me to do everything. It's so hard for me to actually be getting all my work done and working out and taking care of the house and taking yeah. care of Vaughn and being a good wife. Like it's so hard for me to do all those things at once. Yeah, that's definitely something I see has been like more of a, not a struggle, but something that's harder for you to deal with than myself. Even yeah. though I'm not like the best at balancing things, but like, like she's saying, like if she's going super hard at work, doing a whole bunch of sponsorships or different campaigns and stuff like that, she's not worried about what's being made for dinner, what we're eating, I'm not cooking. cleaning, stuff like mm -hmm. that. So she definitely is like putting herself last in, in that situation. She's, she doesn't like work out, go to the gym and stuff because she's like so laser focused on like everything she does. Yeah, I'm like such an all or nothing type of person. By the way, guys, we're driving right now to McDonald's to try the new sweetie meal. We didn't even mention that. At first, we were gonna just kind of sit down and film this video at home. And I'm like, Mel, this, that is way too formal of a Yeah, cause setup. it's not like a serious reason yeah, it's not on that why serious. we have been away. Like, it's not like something tragic happened to yeah. us and now we have to take a break. Like, literally, knock yeah, knock on wood. Literally, it was just like, we just kind of got within to a whole new routine like now i started going to the to the pilates and pole dancing class every morning i started going to the gym every morning and we just started to enjoy that routine so much that we were just like forgot about life kind of <clears throat> the sweetie meal please okay what kind of drink uh i'll do the we'll do the sprite that it comes with i'm uh, sorry yeah okay and for the sauce uh i'll do the the sweet and sour and barbecue so yeah, we just ordered our sweetie meal and it was kind of funny because she was asking what sauce, what drink, but it kind of has like its own. Yeah, I thought it was like a set drink. whole combo. It is, because I just saw, I took a picture of it on my phone of like what the meal consists of, but it's so blurry. Okay, yeah. so, so it's a Big Mac with a four piece chicken nugget with medium fries, medium Sprite, sweet and sour and barbecue but then apparently it comes with a card that tells you how she likes to put her sandwich together yeah i guess she builds these concoctions if you guys have <laughs> don't seen, call it a concoction if you guys have babe. seen saweetie on twitter and stuff her little concoctions make my stomach turn like they literally do not look good <laughs> at all i don't know saweetie your stomach it, it might have some some problems with these babe, little concoctions she leave be her alone i need to come up with my own little concoction i'm boring i just eat what, I, what comes on the menu no, these are not like delish. So we need four piece Big Mac, uh, medium Sprite? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I haven't had like a Sprite in forever. You know, McDonald's Sprite hit different. Mm. It's that extra carbonation. <laughs> it's 
It's not boba, bro. Put it in. <laughs> it's because it's not smooth down here because you put everything in the holder. She's blaming coins on the reason she couldn't put the straw in the hole. So good. Mm -hmm. My eyes are watering a little bit. Mm. It's good. Oh, you don't like Sprite? I thought like you never order a Sprite. Anytime that I was do. weird. He likes like root beer and like cream no, soda. Ginger ale is my. If I drink soda nowadays, it's only ginger ale. This, I like ginger ale. Not really, but it reminds me of when I was pregnant. Remember, I drink it all the time, so it gives me that queasy feeling. Thank you. Is this everything? Is there a sweet and sour? Uh, did you ask for sweet and sour or ranch? Uh, yeah, we asked for sweet and sour. Yeah, is it, doesn't barbecue come with the meal too? Babe, this isn't correct. What do you mean? You gave us the wrong. This is two chicken nuggets. Oh my god, guys, they just gave us the wrong meal. Well, I'm not about to go back in line, so guess what? This video is about to turn into whoever's order we just got. We're gonna review Look, it. Look, we didn't get the bag. Oh, they got the bag, babe. What the hell? It's because you were jinxing it. You were saying it sounds so disgusting. At least we got the special sweet and sour. I think this was a sign from above. That we shouldn't be that eating we McDonald's. That we shouldn't even be eating McDonald's. I know, we were literally just talking about how we're eating, well, like we're so healthy, we've been eating at home, all that stuff, and now we're eating McDonald's. The funny thing is, is like, I didn't really care to eat this meal, but I was like, man, we can't just sit in, like, sit down in the house and film this video that's yeah. way too formal, like we just mentioned. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what's something fun we can do? And we're like, oh, let's go try the sweetie meal because we did try the Travis Scott meal. But These fries are good. It's all right, everything happens for a reason. I'm making us a delicious dinner tonight, mm -hmm. so it's actually for the best that we didn't get too much food. Like Mel was mentioning, we've been heavily in the gym. This is the most consistent I've been working out in a really long time. Yeah. Like Mel said, I started doing pole dancing. Pole dancing is so much fun, but guys, it is so hard. So I take like two classes at my pole dancing studio. One is like the dancing class, which I find a little bit more easy just because I have a ballet background and it's more like sensual dancing. But then the other class is tricks. And when I tell you, these tricks are so much harder than you think they are. Um, I never thought it looked easy, but oh my gosh, lifting your body weight off the ground onto a metal pole, it's painful, it's hard, your hands are sliding everywhere. I leave literally with the biggest bruises on my body, right baby? Like, can yeah. you believe the bruises I come home with? These people are literally athletes, okay? Like yeah. this is not a joke, it is so hard. But regardless, I get such an amazing workout when I go to pole dancing. I see such a huge difference in my body already, don't you babe? Mm -hmm. Like I feel so much more tight and toned and literally in a two hour session, I burn like 800 calories. Like I burn so many calories when I do that. And then also on top of it, I've been doing uh, Pilates and I also started taking ballet as well. You guys know I grew up, I was a ballet dancer, so I started taking classes again. And it's just so great. Like every single day I'm working out, I feel so good mentally. Yeah, but literally then, we do something active every day. Like mm -hmm. as, at least one of us are taking a class or doing some sort of workout, going to the gym. If not both of us, which we try and make happen as one often as possible. One goes in the morning, one goes at night. Yeah, so that's, that's one of the like biggest reasons we've kind of been away from YouTube and not posting is just we've been getting like to like our best points mentally and physically because the amount that we've been working out and the way we've been feeling while working out has been doing wonders for everything in our life like all areas our relationship the way that we treat each other the way that we are with bond like we are always we're like i just feel like we're a lot more loving and yeah more relaxed and that's not to say that youtube causes us like this stress or anything but it's like when we're not working out we're not doing the things that make us feel good it's hard for us to like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like it's hard. Aside from working out, let's talk about food and how we were eating. We were eating out literally every single day, sometimes even multiple times a day. Yeah. And that was not okay. Okay, like, aside from the fact that we were spending so much money on food, it's just when you're not preparing your own meals, you don't know what's going into it. You don't know the oil, the fat, the sugar, the salt. For me, as a mother, I'm not saying that's like the mom's job, she has to do all the cooking, but like, as a mother and as a wife, I felt like... I was lacking in my life I'm like I'm not even cooking for my family like I need to do that like and I enjoy cooking too you know what I mean <clears throat> and that's the thing too is that I would like you know obviously when she's doing more more stuff around the house doing more stuff with YouTube like I would hold hold it down and cook for us and stuff but like I can cook 
but like she can cook you know what i mean like I have he my tries. set things like my turkey burgers. I can make spaghetti. I can make little salmon. I can grill up anything. You know what I mean? Like I can cook to where me and Vaughn will be good. I can make our make sure our family eats. We'll go to bed full. But Nas can like really put her foot in the meal and cook like foot something from meal. scratch. Like she, she's making like homemade sauces and all this stuff. Like I'm not gonna be doing all that. I'll go to the store, buy me a jar of sauce. She, on the other hand, can like actually cook. So thank you, babe. When she's like in the kitchen and she's feeling motivated to cook, me and Vaughn are blessed because we get to eat good all the time. Just like I mentioned, it's really hard for me to balance in my life. If I'm in mom mode, like I'm in mom mode. I want to cook. I want to clean. I don't want to, you know, have to get ready and put myself on camera and all that stuff. I just want to spend time with my son and just do that all day. Like it's really hard to like turn it off. And then turn on bad bitch mode. It's like, okay, now take a bomb Instagram picture and like all that stuff. Like, it's so hard for me to do both of that in the same day. Like, when I wake up in the morning, it's like I have to set the tone for the day. Yeah. Am I going to be, you know, in mom mode all day or do I have content to film later and I need to, like, you yeah. know, wash my hair and like do this and do that to prepare for it, you know? Yeah. So it's just been hard for me to balance the two. And like, I've just been in that mode and then like working out. And we're just saying mom mode for lack of better term. Like, we're not making it seem like this is all that moms are meant to do. Yeah, no, no. Like, there's so much more to being a mother than this, but we're just saying this for lack of better terms because for us, there really is, like, two different sides where it's, like, parent mode and then we're into content mode and stuff like that. And when we're just so in tune with Vaughn and, like, doing family stuff and stuff like that, it's so hard to turn it off and be like, okay, now let's get to work. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So that's what that's what we're saying. We're not trying to make it seem like uh, a mom's job is only to cook clean or yeah, whatever like good that. Good catch, like, babe, because I wouldn't want people to think yeah, that. Yeah, this is just this is just for lack of better terms. Because I, obviously, like if you guys have a better way of putting it in the comments, let us know. But this is just how we're we're saying it. So we're not. Don't take it the wrong. Yeah, way. Yeah, going off of Mel talking about how we've just been. I just burped. I'm sorry. Spending time as a family. I feel like with the completion of the pool in the backyard, we've been definitely like spending more time together in that sense because mm -hmm. we have the pool either way guys i would say this is the hardest part of this job is just you really have to discipline yourself if we were you know working a more traditional job we couldn't just not go for two weeks yeah. you know what i mean and i hate that we do that like we can't just like take off for two weeks dude these days be going by way too fast i don't know what the hell is going on yeah. it's august 16th already mom i don't know guys we just needed this little break but we are back we want to film for you guys we just wanted to make this little video just to talk about why we've been gone but i bet some people watching this video they're like okay yeah like, i mean what but again that's why we're making this video and we didn't want to have it like some sit down serious you know, video because video. it's not like it's not that deep. we have a reason for leaving we were just working on ourselves so i guess that would be the answer on why where we've been we've been working on ourselves and not to make it dramatic but even even i feel like we're stronger as a couple than we were a few weeks months back like where we would have a lot more petty arguments and we were going at each other's neck and stuff like that i feel like now we're at a lot healthier point overall it's also hard when you're working with your partner yeah because you're gonna argue about those things so maybe mm -hmm. it'd be like oh we're arguing less but it's also yeah, like that, we're not working together yeah, that's true because most <laughs> of our most of our like arguments like that They're always work related usually stem from work and it's not like it's like co-worker arguments yeah not, not like it doesn't affect our marriage it's more like just co-worker arguments but when you're having those type of arguments with your partner it can make like your whole life you know kind of weird and at a, at a weird point yeah. because you don't want to go from are you want to yell at each other about work and editing and due dates and then you want to turn around and cuddle and watch a movie with yeah. that same person so that's also something that throughout this like two weeks or whatever we've been able to kind of really under nights together yeah and, like yeah we've ended every night together like going to bed at the same time and stuff like that watching it's, tv together it's, it's it's been nice for us um and again not to be dramatic like it's not like we were in this horrible place or like on the brink of breakup or anything like that but it's just with some with the amount of work if you guys can see our schedule our calendar from the last two months it was it was insane. jam -packed. Like you guys might not understand because you'll you'll see on YouTube like a sponsorship here and there, sponsorships, but like there's so much more behind the scenes and there's sponsorships that we're filming that you guys may not see for a, a month and stuff like that. So a lot of these companies will want a due date and then they won't want it posted for like a month and a half later. <laughs> so we were constantly working and it was just so much. So this time for us has been really 
good and I think we have a better grasp on the direction we want to take our YouTube channel now that we are quote unquote back. Ew. It was like hard Don't do that. That was disgusting. I literally just ate one. It was like cartilage in my chicken. I know, that's why I hate eating chicken. That was actually disgusting. Well, you wanted me to swallow that for your sake? Or just not let me see you spitting it out. Because non, wait, 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 non wait. doesn't get grossed out. Yeah, I don't get grossed out because, okay, there was cartilage in my chicken nugget, but it's like, it's a chicken. It no. has bones and veins and but blood and this, never, that, and a third. You don't ever be like, yeah. You always chew through it. I wouldn't, that, did you see that? It was like a hard lump. How am I supposed to chew through that? So, yeah, guys, I don't get grossed out. Like, that just happened to me and I can still finish my chicken nuggets. The only thing that grosses me out is hair in my food. Like that, I, I draw the line at hair. See, I'm the type that if I get a, like I'm eating chicken, it can be the most delicious meal in the world. I'm going through it, killing it. Then I take a bite of the chicken, there's like some cartilage or fat or something. The whole rest of the meal is ruined. She's different. She'll literally have a bite of chicken. It might be like rotten. She'll spit it out and okay. then be like, and then continue okay, eating Mal the rest of the meal. Okay, being dramatic, okay? I'm obviously like, no, you met my parents, okay? Yeah. In my household, we don't do that. Like, well, no, it eat makes, your food. It makes sense with Baba, because Baba's meals are literally food. Like, <laughs> the definition of food. Mel <laughs> always talks about that with Baba. Like, Baba doesn't care if it's seasoned. He doesn't care. Like, he, he will... He literally just wants He will boil food. a, like, sweet potato and just, like, eat it. He'll... I'll come downstairs and he'll be eating a, a bowl of just chickpeas. Like, no seasoning, no fresh out of the, juice. Fresh out of the, like can i'm like because baba eats good? for survival he doesn't yeah. care for all the frills no and then like literally baba will snack on like lettuce like literally like yeah. raw like washed lettuce like he'll like no seasoning no <laughs> dressing he'll just like be eating the lettuce like it's chips yes he does and that's why i always joke with Nas. i'm like baba is just literally the google def definition of everything like even down to when he gets dressed it's clothes he's like shirt <laughs> pants shoes he's I'm a good. no frills type of guy i don't care guy. what it looks like he don't i don't need care all what the, brand all the dramatics. i don't care what color it is Shirt, pants, shoes, I'm ready to leave. <laughs> like that's why I'm like Bob was the easiest person to like shop for or get anything for because he loves everything. But yeah, I really want to continue. I really want to stay consistent with how I've been working out because I just feel so much better in my body. Mm -hmm. I just remember like the last photos I post on Instagram were like my pictures for Savage and I just was not feeling myself in those pictures like when I was taking those photos when I posted them and I was like, I need to do something about it. I'm not gonna sit here and feel sorry for myself when I could be doing things to better myself. Yeah. So that's why I got really into working out and you know, moving every single day because even though I probably don't look that different from those pictures, just mentally, like Mel mentioned, like mentally, I just feel so much better. Just getting a good sweat on, yeah. you know, looking at my Apple Watch and seeing I burned like 600, 700 calories. I'm like, look at me like putting in this work. Like I feel so much stronger. And both Mel and I grew up very active. You know, I was a dancer growing up. I played lacrosse. Um, you know, you played basketball. Yeah. Like we were both just super active, and I feel like when we're not active, like it really affects both of us mm -hmm. a lot. Without us even noticing, though, like yeah, we we might have attitudes and stuff like that, and not even know that it's from lack of like fitness. But because when you work out, you you um, release the certain chemical in your brain. What is it called? Endorphins. Endorphins. Yes, you release endorphins. I think that's why you, the Rice Krispie thing is supposed to work because I guess it. it Mel oh, read this. Read it again. Mel read this thing. No, on TikTok. if you guys know, if you guys are on the fitness side of TikTok, or if you've ever seen these little Rice Krispie treat TikToks recently, where people have been going to the gym, you eat Rice Krispie treats before you go in the gym, and you get like this crazy pump. And I tried it the other day, but I don't know. I, I'll, I'll have to do like a trial run to where I do it without Rice Krispie and do it with it because I couldn't tell the difference to be honest. But it gives me an excuse to eat Christ Krispie treats, so. All right, that's the real reason you wanted them. But yeah, like Mel mentioned, we are very blessed in the fact that we can, you know, take time off to focus on bettering ourselves. We know, like, a lot of people don't have that opportunity, and yeah. we acknowledge that. That's very, we are very privileged in that sense. Mm -hmm. And we feel a lot better, and we're hoping that we can push out content a little bit more, you know, regular. <laughs> Vaughn. Guys, Vaughn has just been, this is nothing, but like Vaughn has been screaming all day. He's actually been pretty quiet. I did not think it was going to be this quiet, did you? because I've been feeding his ass. Right. Um, Thank you. 
at the end of the day, we can do everything that we want in a 24 hour period if we just planned it out a little bit better. And I think that's one thing that Mel and I are lacking and that we need to get better at because yeah, I like to use my Google calendar, like with my management and all that stuff. But Mel does not like, I've tried for two years to get this man to look at his Google calendar. He is not looking at his Google calendar. And he is not putting in things in his Google Calendar. I've never been that type of person. Even back in school where they would hand out, like, planners at the beginning of the year, at the end of the year, my planner would be completely blank. Like, How do you I'm remember what you have to writing do? writing about planning it. No, me? Here. And see, that's why we're... Just, see, this is where we differ because for me, when I was in school, I had my planner down to the color. Like, I color-coded it. Like, I'd use my blue pen. I would use my blue marker for, like, math. And I would use my red marker for history. Like... I was spending more time organizing than actually doing work at that point. Shut up. It's really not that much work. But regardless, I was an aggressive planner in that sense. So it's just so frustrating because I feel like with Mel, it's just word of mouth. Like, hey, I'm going to the gym no, next Wednesday I think Wednesday our, problem, at our problem both, though, we're both... It's more of our personalities because we're both our people who don't like to be tied down, who don't like to be told what to do. So we, like, kind of make moves and then we'll come tell you tell each other after you know what i mean like she might go out and plan a pilates class and be like oh yeah i'm going to pilates at eight and then like i'll be like the same way like i wake up like yeah i'm about to head to the gym it might be a time where she's waking up getting ready for the gym and i'm waking up like yeah what are you doing like i'm about to go to the gym and then we, we just end kind up, of assumed yeah like assuming that we have the free time instead of talking to each other and communicating so i figured our best bet like the best thing we can do for us to both just be on the same schedule is to get like a weekly planner on our fridge like on a whiteboard where we can just write it out i think that's like the best way that we could actually you know be on the same schedule and look at something yeah because yeah google calendar is not going to work out a written small planner is not going to work out. I'm like, what's the one thing? What's the one area of the house that we always go to every single morning? And that's the kitchen. So I'm trying to find like a cute aesthetic, you know, weekly planner for our fridge. Definitely isn't that many cute options, but I just need to find something for that. I know a lot of you guys watch our videos, especially when I do like my day in my life as a mommy. I get so many comments like, girl, you have your life together. You're so good at like balancing everything in your life. Like you're so efficient. And I'm like, y'all don't let that trick you because i go through my moments i struggle too it's really hard for me to stay consistent and you know i have the same problems as all of you guys don't look at a 15 minute video from my week and then assume that's how i am every single day of my life because you know yeah. i have my good days i have my bad days and you guys have to understand that we are also a strong partnership so like everything that we do is pretty much 50 50 as far as the stress and the weight and the work of everything we 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 always balance it amongst each other so that you know either one of us isn't being too overworked or overstressed and i think that also helps us a lot and with having a career in social media i feel like it just revolves so heavily on your creativity and for me i can definitely experience a burnout especially because i feel like we used to do our little shoots all the time and i feel like that really you know got my creative juices flowing all right guys so that's the end of this video we just got back home and it is almost time for us to start getting bomb ready for bed oh, yeah. so we're gonna close out the video please 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 let us know down below some some fun video ideas like we're, we have a, a truth or drink plan we are just so happy we got to finally sit down and turn this camera on and talk to you guys we actually have been filming this past week like i mentioned we have been cooking at home a lot more so i actually filmed our dinners for the past week yeah. to give you guys some like easy dinner inspo so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time we keep having to stop and delete old footage so we're not going to talk long this time and yeah. go ahead and close it out <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next video bye guys